Normally we would mask this off, this dust shield, right on the edge. That way it's nice and clean, but since it's already painted over, we're just going to leave it how it is. Here is another way to mask up, leaving the door panel on. Just slide tape underneath. This way works good if you're working on your own vehicle. This is not the way we do it in the field, but it's a quick, easy way to do it at home. Any kind of weather stripping, you just slide your tape underneath, same way with the door panel, fold it back. You could even tape right on it if you can't get your tape underneath. Okay, now we're going to use a red scuff pad with some wax and grease remover. If you're doing a solid color, the red scuff pad is the way to go. It scratches quickly. If you're going to use a metallic paint, then you're going to want to use a gray scuff pad. Once all your paint surface is scuffed up, you can wipe it all down making sure that there's no more shiny spots. If it's shiny, the paint's not going to stick to it. Just make sure you get on all the little crevices. Make sure that all your edges are scuffed, otherwise the paint will lift. I'm going to use inch and a half tape or wider. Place it halfway on the edge. And pull it back. This will create a soft line. It will be easy to sand out when you're ready to do the outside of the car. You could use little pieces to wrap around corners. Okay, on the pinch welds, we're going to back mask. It's the door jam area. Very simple. Use inch and a half tape. continue all the way around. For the information label, we're going to use the edge of the tape to go on the edge of the label. That way we only have to cut two ends off. Let's use a razor blade. Let's try to get it as straight as you can. Peel off the excess. Now with the striker, just wrap your tape around. Fill in any spots. Make sure no paint can get inside. Kind of wrap it like a cone. Okay, now I'm going to use this plastic sheeting to cover the entire car. It comes in a box, and it's a big, long roll of plastic. It's kind of like a plastic bag, but this stuff is made to be painted onto. It's going to kind of pull the plastic tight and push it onto the tape. What they used to do is use a lot of uh, paper. The paper can get expensive. This 
box of plastic is is rather cheap you're gonna cut it out just cut along your tape um, cut lightly because you can cut right through the tape you just want to cut through the plastic and then you're just gonna mask right on top of that to hold the plastic onto the tape everywhere you cut you're gonna want to do this you don't want the paint to get through you can use paper to plug any kind of holes that you have so that way the paint doesn't go into the car Just kind of crinkle it up and you can stuff it into the holes you want it to be tight and there you go it's all masked up ready to paint